we begin with breaking news. That breaking news is out of Sacramento, where teachers and staff in the city's unified school district announced late tonight they will strike tomorrow. So all campuses will be closed as union members hit the picket lines. The unions say the Sacramento City Unified School District refused to meet with them today, only communicating through a mediator. The school district says a strike means they will be forced to close all of the schools in the district. And of course, this impacts tens of thousands of students and their families. We have live team coverage of the strike tonight, including the options available for parents. We start with KCRA 3's Melanie Wingo, who is live at the Sacramento Teachers Association headquarters with the latest on what both sides are saying tonight. Well, negotiations have broken down for the night. We spoke with the union president right here at union headquarters just after it was made abundantly clear that the two sides were not going back to the bargaining table at all again for the rest of the night. We do want to show you, however, uh, the most recent offer put forth by the school district. This is a proposal that was posted to the district's website a little bit earlier today. Now, these are the terms the district put forth. It provides for 100% of health coverage through Kaiser for all employees and their immediate family members at no cost to employees. A 2% salary increase for this current school year. The offer also includes includes one-time stipends for full-time employees and a $2,000 signing bonus. It also includes more professional de development, giving teachers three more paid days for professional learning. Now, the teachers' union says it would have been interested in accepting the compromise terms put forth last week in a neutral fact-finding process, but they say since the district doesn't want to agree to those terms and doesn't want to meet about it further tonight, the teachers teachers are going on strike. Okay, uh, just to confirm, you know, on camera, there will be a teacher and education employee strike effective tomorrow morning. Yes, unless the district has a, la a late night change of heart, as I just mentioned, they refuse to even meet with us. So, and they didn't communicate to the mediator, they're not interested in meeting with us, and they're not interested in accepting the compromise that they insisted on, meaning the uh, fact finder, the neutral mediator, they insisted on that process. Um, we've got a compromise solution, we accepted it, they continue to reject it, and um, unless they have a late night change of heart, they continue to refuse to meet with us, and so we will be forced to strike tomorrow. And we also want to bring you this. It's an excerpt from an opinion piece that ran in the Sacramento Bee today. It's penned by Superintendent Jorge Aguilar and District Board President Christina Pritchett on behalf of the entire board. The district saying in that piece, and I'm quoting here, we are committed to demonstrating integrity and leadership at the bargaining table by recognizing our employees while ensuring that we don't use one-time funds for ongoing expenditures. Another part of that piece goes on to say, our hope is that we can close out this difficult year by reaching mutually agreeable labor contracts and working together on the next three-year contract for the long-term benefit of our students. Again, that was from an opinion piece that was published in the Sacramento Bee today. I should also mention that I reached out to a district spokesperson who says that within the next few minutes or so, we should be hearing from the district in a statement about what happened at the bargaining table today and where things stand from the district's perspective. But again, here at the union headquarters, there are some planned events for tomorrow at various campuses. We know that at McClatchy High School, there's a gathering of union members at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. That's when it is uh, scheduled to begin there. Also, at 11 a.m., some of those union representatives plan to be in front of the district district headquarters at the Cerna Center, all of this affecting some nearly 40,000 students on roughly 80 campuses across the greater Sacramento area. So this is a big deal with uh, the teachers planning to go on strike effective tomorrow. Edie? Yeah, they have announced that they are now on strike. So I guess a lot of families would be wondering at this point, Melanie, it, can they expect a one-day strike or is this open-ended? 
Well, I asked the union president about that tonight, and um, what he indicated is that back in 2019, if our viewers will recall, that was a one-day planned strike. But this one sounds as if it's going to be a little more open-ended. Uh, the union president indicating that the union itself would be open and available for further negotiations 24-7, uh, but that it has uh, put that forth to the district. It says the district doesn't show any signs of uh, coming to the table. We again want to hear from the district about that, but it sounds as if the teachers union is prepared for the longer haul with this particular strike effort. Melanie, thank you. And of course, that means families need to be prepared for that too. A strike leaves thousands of parents searching for a place to take their kids. KCRA3's Orca Mana is live for us at the school district headquarters with a look at what some families have decided to do. Orco? Well, Edie, with the school district saying it's closing all campuses because of the strike, thousands of families are trying to find other education options for their kids. And we've learned that includes hiring nannies. It is a sad part that we're not going to be able to go to school. Layla Lavario is a sixth grade student at Mark Twain Elementary School. Her campus is closing because Sacramento City Unified School District teachers and staff members are going on strike, but her teacher already made a contingency plan. The fact that we're missing school isn't really that good to me, but it is good that our teachers did set up packets for some kids to do work. But for Lavario, it's still not the same. It will help us not get that much behind, but it won't be like being in school with our teachers. And because her parents have to go to work, another question is if she'll stay at home or with her grandmother. It really depends on what our parents work and who's off. Thousands of parents are in the same boat, scrambling to make arrangements for their children. One option some are turning to is Nanny Village Agency. I have seen an increase of, I would say, 30% of calls um, this week alone. Founder Marquis Ann tells me she attributes a lot of that to the looming strike. Nanny Village Agency connects families to nannies and they work with kids up to 12 years old and sometimes even older. We have several families and nannies who have interviews lined up. And it's not just to babysit. Even some are requesting private educators which are, you know, teachers, former teachers, retired um, educators, and nannies who have a teaching experience in their background. And says they're ready to meet this moment. They are well prepared to come up with custom curriculum for children of all ages. Rainbow Daycare Center only works with children up to five years old, but pre-K teacher Martha Garcia says she wants to take in some of the younger SCUSD students knowing the struggles parents face. It was hard for a bit uh, when I didn't have that backing, so I would definitely um, help if I could. As the strike approaches, students like Lavario have a message for the unions and the school district. Well, I really hope the strike doesn't go on for that long because we, us kids really do need to go back in school. The nanny agency we spoke to tonight says it expects to get even more calls later this week because the strike is now officially happening. Again, that strike set to begin tomorrow. Reporting live in Sacramento tonight, Orco Mana, KCRA 3 News. Orco, thank you. Many families take part in the city's fourth R program, which is an after school child care program. Families got messages tonight that that program will be open for normal hours. And students who rely on their school's meal plans will still be fed. Meals will be provided at these community locations between 1130 in the morning and one in the afternoon each day of the strike.